Welcome to Holocaust Museum Houston. My name is Wendy Warren and I'm the Director of Education here at the museum. To celebrate the opening of the exhibit, Mandela Struggle for Freedom, we are speaking with organizations from around Houston that are working to protect human rights and serve our community. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Martin Kaminsky and Sukri Woodley of Interfaith Ministries for Greater Houston. Martin and Sukri, thank you for joining us today. I'm very excited to learn more about your organization and the fantastic initiatives that I am is leading within our community. So first, can you tell us a little bit about Interfaith Ministries and your organization's mission? Well, thank you very much, Wendy, for having us here today. And congratulations to the Holocaust Museum Houston on opening the Mandela exhibit. We're very, very excited to see it and to be a part of it. Uh, here at Interfaith Ministries, we actually were founded uh, more than 50 years ago, about 51 years ago, during the civil rights era. So we have uh, always, as a part of our mission, been very committed to advancing dialogue, collaboration, service, and respect for all people, people of faith traditions, and people of no particular faith traditions. This is really a very important part of the work that we're doing to serve the Houston community. And Interfaith Ministries for Greater Houston actually has four main programs. And from those programs, we stem off into different sorts of service capacities. But those four programs are Meals on Wheels and Anna Meals. We are the largest Meals on Wheels provider in the state of Texas and one of the largest in the country. And a lot of times people don't necessarily know that about Interfaith Ministries right here in Midtown Houston. We also have a Galveston location as well for Meals on Wheels. Uh, we do resettle refugees through our refugee resettlement program, and we have a very long history spanning three decades plus of resettling refugees and helping to welcome our new neighbors uh, right here in the Houston area. And are we so fortunate to live in Houston, the most diverse city in this country? Uh, this is a very welcoming place to live, even for me as a transplant from Detroit, Michigan <laughs> to Houston. We also have interfaith relations and community partnerships. And our, the inside thing that we say about uh, interfaith relations and community partnerships is that that is really the heart of the work that we do. Uh, because that's really where it's very nuanced work, where we're bringing people of faith traditions and no particular faith traditions together to advance understanding and to build collaboration between neighbors. And that's very precious work that we do. Uh, lastly, we have Volunteer Houston, which is our volunteerism arm. And uh, they are doing amazing work in the community, helping people and companies come together with nonprofits in need in our community. So we're very excited about the work that we're doing through Volunteer Houston and that program, which is, uh, which is not a young program, but it's the youngest program with, within our, uh, our organization. Uh, we took them over or probably about, or they came under us about four years ago. Uh, so now they're just doing phenomenal work and really continuing to build volunteerism and service in this community. Wow, you really have quite a broad spectrum of work that your organization does. It's really amazing. And um, I'm sure lots of people are just learning about that by watching this video. Um, so, hope so. Yeah. <laughs> why, um, why is these, these human rights issues that you work with, why are they important? Let me try to answer the question. I'm Martin Kaminsky, the president and CEO, and we're always so happy to work with Holocaust Museum Houston. Uh, we share many educational goals and all share the idea to stop hate and build respect for all people. 
And that's been in our mission for the last 51 years. Uh, really, our goal is to take people from very diverse backgrounds, from Eastern, Western faiths, and, and people of no faith at all, and to try to build understanding for the different faiths. We do programs like the Dialogue Project, which coordinates dinners where people of different faiths get together and get to talk about an issue through the lenses of the faiths that they uh, believe in and are active in. And so our goal is to bring people together in understanding and to serve together in collaboration to get things done for people in need. And so during this time, certainly our focus is much more on diversity, uh, equity and inclusion, and the opportunity to make sure that we are building respect for all people uh, on our building, we have a banner in 13 different languages that says the word respect. And that's just a symbol of our efforts to try to bring people of many different faiths together. We recognize that we all look at the world through slightly different glasses, but we're all looking at a shared world. And we all have to have the vision to think about what what the world needs, what the people of the world need, and to try to bring them together. And Houston is a great microcosm to be able to do that as the most diverse city in our nation, one that represents in relatively equal numbers, uh, very different uh, people of different backgrounds, of different races, religions, and so we are very excited to have this opportunity to show the world how people can live together in harmony and in respect. Mm -hmm. I'd add that COVID has just put an extra layer of challenge on all that. Uh, certainly, we have built facilities to bring people together because that's our goal. But during COVID, we're being especially cautious and careful. And so we're doing most of our work by Zoom and by other virtual <laughs> methods. And I'm sorry that we can't be with you and your visitors and patrons today, uh, but we appreciate the opportunity to talk to them in this virtual way. And so the work continues. Uh, the relationships that we can build now, the responses to George Floyd and to others are inspired by the work that Nelson Mandela did uh, over his life. And whether in South Africa or whether in the United States, that fight is important. All of us have a responsibility to be a soldier in this fight and to bring our world together more closely so we can stop hate and build respect for people of all backgrounds. Thank, Thank you. you, just beautifully said. We so agree with all those sentiments. Um, so, so well said, Martin. <laughs> yeah. So how can people get involved with interfaith ministries and um, how can people help with um, many of the parts of your mission? Well, so we do have quite a few different events uh, and learning opportunities listed on our website, which is www.imgh.org. I will say, uh, Martin touched on the some of the work that IRCP is doing, but they offer a host of educational programs. Faith in Our City is one of them. The dialogue pro they're all under the dialogue project. So there's faith in our city, vital conversations, dinner dialogues. There's so many ways to connect and engage with um, people in the community, your neighbors and friends, families are often welcome. And we just really encourage people to take some time, spend some time on our website and figure out a good path for them to connect and engage. Another area is Volunteer Houston. Volunteer Houston is a very easy portal to use. It's actually volunteerhouston.org. And people can go online, they can see needs immediately, and they also can activate their volunteerism practically immediately. So it's not a cumbersome process at all. They've streamlined it and made it very easy to get involved. Meals on Wheels, 
we are serving so many seniors through Meals on Wheels. We continue to see the needs grow, especially during COVID. And we know that seniors are dealing with um, even more isolation and uh, even a greater sense of hunger in the community overall right now with you know, economic downturns and things like that. So we are very uh, aware of the needs of our seniors in our community. They've served us all their lives. They worked, they kept the economy strong, they fought in wars, they're veterans. And so now we do ask people to uh, take some time to care for a senior, look out for a senior, and if they feel compelled to uh, help support senior nutrition through Meals on Wheels in our community. Thank you. Is there, is there any other information you'd like to share with our viewers? Just like to say that we're happy to work in partnership to understand the human rights issues throughout our community and our world, to use the terrors of the Holocaust in a way that can educate us and prepare us for a better way to work together. And just as Nelson Mandela fought against many obstacles with many barriers to bring equality and opportunity for all people in South Africa, it's our responsibility to fight the barriers of COVID and the other challenges in our world now and to stand up we must all be upstanders and we must all stand up for diversity, equality, and inclusion for all people. Thank you very much, Wendy, for this opportunity to talk to your audience. And I hope people will take time to look at the Mandela exhibit and to realize the effort that this gentleman put into our world to make it a better place. We hope to continue to follow with his inspiration. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thank both of you for spending some time with us today and for the incredible work that Interfaith Ministry does every day here in the city of Houston. Um, if any of our viewers would like to learn more about Interfaith Ministries or about Holocaust Museum Houston, please stop by uh, at our Human Rights Expo on September 26 from 10 to 5. It will be free admission at the museum. Uh, where you can learn um, all about the Holocaust, human rights, and see our new exhibit, Mandela, Struggle for Freedom, which will be on view from September 11th through January 3rd, 2021. So uh, please go to our webpage, hmh.org, if you would like to know more about upcoming events here at Holocaust Museum Houston, and follow us on social media as well. You can follow Holocaust Museum Houston's Boniac Center at Boniac Center on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you so much again, and thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Holocaust Museum Houston. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.